Hello, I'm Charlie Lowndes. I'm an Open University tutor, and this short video is about getting ready for an exam in pretty much anything. I tutor modules called M269 and TM355, which have exams, but as I say, this should work for pretty much anything at all. First thing to be aware of is that revision is not about staring at pages, it's about writing out your own notes. Those could be in words or in pictures or a combination of the two. You could be doing exercises that maybe you skipped over before or going back and doing them again. You might be looking over summaries and highlighting things that you realize now are important. You can carry your notes around with you and if you've got five minutes to spare waiting for something else to happen, you can do a bit of revision. Preparing yourself is more though than just revising from the from the text materials. It's about making sure that your mind and body are in good working order when you come to do the exam. So eating sensibly, making sure that you're well fueled, perhaps taking some exercise as well. That really helps exercise your brain, which is a muscle. So you might be a walker. Like me, you might be a jogger. Maybe you play tennis. Or perhaps you can cycle to work, which is a great thing to do, particularly at exam time of year. Maybe you just get out and have a bit of fresh air or dig the garden or sit in the garden or visit the park. Whatever you do, make sure that your brain and body are ready. As you get closer to the exam, make sure you know where it is, how you're going to get there, where you're going to park if you're driving. Think about the tools you need to do the exam. If you are using a calculator, make sure it's one you know how to use and meets the rules. You might well want to draw a diagram, in which case make sure you've got the right kit for that. You'll need ID that can prove you are who you say you are. Once the whole thing gets started, Make sure that the shape of the exam is what you expect. You'll have read past papers and looked at the specimen and you shouldn't be surprised, but check. Think about how you're going to manage the timing. Don't rely on being able to see the clock in the exam room. Make sure you've got your own timepiece with you and make sure you know how the marks work out in terms of how long you've got for each question. It's quite important to use the allocation of marks to plan the detail, the level, the amount of words that you're going to write or the depth of calculation you're going to show. Make sure too that any instructions that go with it, the sort of housekeeping stuff, um, perhaps starting a new answer book for a new part, that sort of thing, make sure that you follow those. And a fairly obvious one, make sure you've written your name and your personal identifier uh, on whatever you've written your answers on. I think the most important thing I'd like to share with you is what I call Charlie's Law. It works for any exam in any subject at any time, and it has two parts. Part one, read the question and then answer it and not uh, something that you'd like to say that you find interesting, but doesn't answer it. So that's really important. Read the question and answer it. Good luck.